So this is linear regression. So I have the same data here, more or less from the problems. I have years and sales. Over here, I have inserted a graph, mostly of the scatter plot, and I right clicked and fit a line for this. Uh, what I also did is I made sure to put in a formula and an R squared. So an R squared is how well the formula fits the data. Uh, so this number will go between negative 1 and 1. The closer you are to negative 1 or 1, the more likely it is to be a good fit. This is just a formula, a straight line formula, hence linear regression. Uh, the 9.8501 is your slope, your M. The 80.431 is your B, your y-intercept. And then you could put in X and find out your data. So I set up a formula right here of equals E3, which is your slope, times E5 plus E3. So if I had to figure out what my sales are, what year 8, I can just put in 8, and it would give me this. At the same time, if I wanted to find out on year 18, I could see this. Please note, it is unwise to do a linear regression far past the scope or amount of data you have. So if I was looking at year 35, 425, but let's say like if we're doing sales right now, if I had data that went from 1980 to 2015, well, 2020, right now sales for a lot of people are going through the floor. So you can't really use this to predict sales much past what you're currently at. Usually if you do it, it's just past the current amount. Um, so this is the beginning of analytics and model building, which is a cool subject I wish we were getting into, but we don't. Please note an R squared of 0.9928 that we have right here is not likely at all in real life. Usually if you have an R squared about 0.6 or so, you're happy. When you have a number this big, it's either because you have engineering data and they had to be very, very precise, or you made an error somewhere. So be aware of that. So if you have any questions, make sure you bug me.